Hello and welcome, my name is Bezad and I'm going to talk about New Worlds Beta which is going to start on July 20th, 3 days from now. This video is solely made for the people who pre-ordered the game and wish to participate in that beta. I wanted to talk about some of the basic things you need to know and what you should do and what you should avoid for the beta because beta period is not that long, it's only 12 days and you want to get the best out of it. There for sure detailed guides and videos from different YouTubers and streamers on the internet that I suggest you to go watch if you have enough time. But if you don't have enough time, just watch this short video and try to experience the things in game. The information we are going to talk about here are coming from patch notice, development announcement and last year preview event. So things on release may be a bit different, but since we are talking generally, I don't think we will have a problem. I categorize the thing I'm going to talk about in different groups so it will be easier to follow up. First thing we are going to talk about is basics. New World is an MMORPG happening in an island called Aeternum which has different regions, maybe 10 12 regions. Some of them can be controlled by factions, faction of the group you can join around level 7, maybe 10. And those groups define your enemies and your allies. And if you want to play with a friend, you need to pick the same faction. It is possible to change faction in the game, but it's a bit costly and there is a cooldown to it. So tr try to uh, talk to your friends before you start and select the same faction. Because grouping up in this game is really important. Uh, the big groups here are called companies. You can join a company or even create a company. Then with these companies, you can take control of region. And when your faction has the control of region, you get some bonuses. In the region you can control with the faction, there is always a settlement. The settlements is where you can meet the important NPCs and where you have the crafting station. And there is also an inn there. An inn is important because that's the, one of the way to fast travel in this game. There is no mount in New World, so you need to do lots of walking. You need to know about the travel routes and how you can fast travel. One of them is to fast travel to an inn, but you only can have one inn active in all the settlements. The other one is to buy a house in a settlement and you can teleport to your house. They added recently some teleport places that you can do and also you can uh, teleport to your campfire when you die and this is handy but it's costly you can use the campfire as a way to teleport but whenever you die you lose durability on your armor so you may don't want to do that but sometimes it really helps you traveling faster from one place to another place right now there are three northern regions which are really high level regions that are not controllable by the factions. This uh, region doesn't have settlement or four. These have two outposts in each and the outposts can be uh, used as a spawn point and usually they come with uh, like basic station for crafting and stuff. Next we are going to talk about classes and weapons. There is no traditional classes in this game. I mean, you don't select your class when you create your character. Yeah, of course there are classes in the game, but do your play style define which classes you are and you can always transition between them. It depends on your uh, armors, on your gears, on your attribute, which you put your attributes on, points on and the weapons you use. For example, if you want to be a tank, you need to use sword and shield, maybe double axe and use the weapons with more crowd control and leveling them up uh, for leveling them up you need to simply use them when you use your sword and shield to kill the mob eventually it will level up and level up and level up and i suggest you try to use every weapon in the beta as you have the time uh, you don't need to grind one to reach max level which is 20 you just need to try them out and see which one you like more which abilities you like more so when the game release you can go straight for that you can have a plan and level it two weapon or three weapons faster than the others since there is no actual classes in this game you can wear anything you like but wearing heavier things gives you 
or disadvantages and some little advantages of course but wearing lighter clothes and equipment give you some better advantages for example when you're wearing really light and it's defined by the weight of equipment you have uh, you can do dodge roll but with heavier uh, armors you can't do that you can see these details in your character menu for sure when the game launches but as far as you should know wear of the equipment you're wearing weight of the equipment you're wearing define uh, a bit of your play style armors and weapons are coming with gem slots you can socket one or more gem into your equipment and you get some benefit for example you can carry more weight or for example you get uh, more damage against certain kind of enemies uh, there are different kind of enemies in game we are not going to talk about them to memorize them you will see them in the game and you will notice who they are they're like ancients or angry heirs corrupted and others and others but you will learn these things in the beta but you should know that you can get benefits PvE wise against these things with gems and also gems gives you different uh, other attributes as well you will see them there are lots of them I'm not going to talk to the details you can check other guys for these and the other thing you should know about the weapons are about bows and musket if you're going to use bows and musket you need to provide ammunition and that uh, needs a little bit of grinding you need to go for example for bows collect food feather and one kind of metal and make your arrows and this make it a bit harder to level up these weapons but yeah they also have their own benefits weapons and armors also lose durability so you need to repair them uh, after a while how can you repair them is there's no NPC that you need to go to, you can just repair them in your inventory, but you need to pick gold and repair parts. And the repair parts are important. You get lots of loot around and you get lots of weapon you, you're not gonna use or you're not gonna sell or you're not gonna give to other people. So just salvage just those weapons and gears you get from the loot and you get repair parts. And they do not wait. So, you can just keep them in inventory as much as you can there's a cap i think from, uh, i'm not sure but yeah always have repair parts so you can repair your favorite weapons next thing we are going to talk about is really important that's the leveling up when you start the game you may be in another region than your friend if you want to play with your friend there might be different starting area my suggestion is you should go and do the first quest by yourself you probably do the tutorial first, then you go to a region and do some simple quests. Just do them, get some level, get to 7, 8, get to where you need to select a faction. When you select your faction, and you should select the same faction with, as your friend if you want to play together and to be a same team and a company. And then you can go meet up anywhere you want that you can get some story quests or side quests and start doing them together. Of course, killing the mobs together will give you shared XP, but it's easier to do quests in groups. And I really suggest that to play in a group. When you want to do some quests solo, you might get into trouble and you lose time if you want to level up fast. Uh, questing is the main XP gain you can have in the game. There are story quests and the side quests. There are faction quests you can do. I suggest you do few faction quests every day because recently they added the bonus XP to the faction quest. You also get faction token which you can use to buy faction shop items. Uh, you don't need to buy all of them because as you level up you can get better things. But if something catch your eyes, yeah, go for it. Why not? And also there are town project. Town project doesn't give you much XP but they give the uh, owner of the town benefits and you can use those benefits as well. For example, they set some town project to upgrade one of the crafting station. Then you can craft better stuff there. So this is about the getting XP. Of course killing mobs gives you XP but they're, as they announced it, I mean the devs, they nerfed it before. Uh, one of the things that is equal to that is going to go stop breaches. Breaches are some points that enemies are swarming there, actually corrupted or dead, and you can, should go and stop the breaches 
in groups but to do the bridges you need at least like level 25 or something like that before that you can do it but yeah if you grouped up you can go do the bridges you can get loot from the bridges and those are good things to level up as well if you are uh, stocking somewhere and you can't go higher and the quests are hard for you that's the thing you need to do maybe repeated other quests but those bridges in a group really helps you level up fast and get more xp and a bit of loot and price another place to get good chunk of xp from is expeditions expeditions are like dungeons in other games you, uh, you can get good loot and a uh, good amount of XP from them if you have a good thing that you can go to the expedition really fast without a problem. They are really hard to do as far as we saw in the uh, announcement and the trailers. But yeah, the reward is good. Uh, they for sure have some quests you can get and do inside them and get even extra XP. Uh, but you should know that the first expedition you can try I think is around level 20 or 25. Uh, it, depends on your ability and your skills and your team as well for sure as you level up you get different privileges you can do even more dungeons and expeditions and you have like some milestone you reach when you level up you can see it in your uh, inventory probably or character in full screen uh, for example you at certain level you can start buying houses the houses has their own benefits they can uh, be a travel point as we mentioned or you can place some uh, storage boxes inside them to expand your city storage box uh, as you know you have only a limited amount of storage in each city and they are not linked to each other although if you have your faction controlling different regions that you have storage in you can transfer instantly from one storage to another storage if you pay gold Okay, we are getting a bit uh, apart from the leveling, but after leveling, we are going to talk about uh, skills. Uh, as you level, you get attribute points, and you can use Dora's attribute point in different ways. For example, you can put them on Constitution and get better health, or you can put them, for example, in Dexterity and get more damage on certain weapons, for example, like bows. Uh, it depends on you which one you use, um, uh, which playstyle you want to have, but these attribute points also have some milestones. For example, if you reach 100 on one attribute, you get a benefit. Uh, you can see the benefit easily in the menu. And also, I should say, your years score counts on this. So, for example, if you from levels got like 70 attribute in dexterity and your gears give you also 30 dexterity, then you will have 100. But for sure if you change your gear to something else that you didn't reach that milestone you don't get the benefit anymore the other skills are gathering skills and crafting skills you get uh, i'm not suggesting to go for the gathering skill in the beta since it's only 12 there's probably mm, the game designed to be like more grindy on that and you can uh, even get close to max them out so don't put your time on gathering skills but try crafting try crafting i would suggest try crafting try different crafting there are like um weapon smithy uh, there's furnishing even there is like armor crafting and all the other stuff even cooking Cooking could be for sure useful because you will need lots of health and you will need some buffs and it would be probably easy. Uh, try different skills in crafting, don't grind too much on them. Uh, you need to do that in the release for the beta, just get familiar with them and try to see which one you like to continue. You like to be a jewel crafter or you want to be a blacksmith who makes weapons or uh, you want to be a good cook. There are also refining a skill that you probably encounter whether you want it or not because you will need materials to do the other craftings and yeah don't grind on both those things as well as experience says on different games these uh, skills are really hard to master and to reach the end so just get familiar and see how the mechanics work and how you should uh, deal with them when the game releases make the final point i just want to say don't bother yourself with knowledge and soul in beta it's about you getting a good experience of the game and getting a good handle and also it's about the devs 
seeing if the game is working and testing it out before they release so try to help the devs try to uh, be active i don't know if there's an in-game reporting that you can report or suggest but um, i saw that they have a forum uh, it's empty right now but it's gonna be filled up with all your opinions and all your suggestions so make sure to contribute your things matters and these devs shows that uh, they can do much in a really little time if you see that all of the patch notes uh, that came out in one month you can you would see a huge amount of work done in one month so try to communicate with the devs at least through the uh, forum and i will uh, put the forum link down below so you can use it later uh, you probably can get news there and you can probably solve your problem if you are stuck on a quest you can use the forum to solve it or you can even use the in-game chat i saw lots of people helping each other and there was a help uh, option there so you can just ask for help in the game try to make friends try to enjoy the game don't bother with not essential i didn't talk about lots of things here for example i didn't talk about pve invasion which you can only participate after level 50 that i don't see like lots of people reaching 50 in the beta and i didn't talk about the cash shop many people were worried about that but uh that's gone i mean it's there but it's only cosmetic for now and you don't need to be worried about that answer any question you have if you type them in comment but i wanted to make this video short and i tried my best to explain anything i think is important for you to play the beta uh if you like the video please subscribe and follow and let me know your suggestion what should i do to make my video better i'm really new to this thing and yeah i will be streaming new world from the beginning so i put my twitch down below if you like you can follow and i try my best to help you out if you needed some info or you had some problem uh thank you for watching